All right, guys, welcome back. Today we're gonna do a quick wash-up video on my car. It's been raining, uh, driving off and on through rain, through the streets, construction, a lot of kick up. And I'm gonna do a video on minimal products to wash your car. So today we're gonna try and think a little bit outside the box. We're not gonna be so conventional. We're not using wash buckets and stuff. What you're gonna need today is your McKees 37 foam gun. That is the gun. This comes in a kit. I'm just using the gun, the bottle, and the sprayer here. This all comes together, all right? I'll show you that in a minute. So we've got that. We've got some Poor Boys World Super Slick and Suds. This is a concentrated soap. We're gonna use this as our shampoo. Any shampoo will do. This is what we're using today. Uh, We'll need something to wash the car. So we've got some of the Suds Buds sponges here. This is a sponge from Suds Buds. It can be used as a rinseless wash, waterless, uh, or excuse me, or a uh, shampoo sponge. So I haven't tried it as a shampoo wash sponge, but we're gonna use it today with regular car soap. It does work well with the rinseless wash technique. That's from Suds Buds. You'll need your drying towel. I've got my Glacier 1100. This is the extra, extra large size, so it just dries the car real fast. And you'll need two rag towels here. Uh, these are my wheel towels. I'm gonna use one for washing the wheels and the tires, and one to come back and dry. Doesn't really matter, these don't touch the paint. These are strictly for wheels. So I've got two rags, a drying towel, your wash media, I'm using a sponge. You can use your Chanel mitts or whatever you want. I've got my soap and I've got my foaming sprayer. I'm not using a bucket, I'm not using grit guards or dirt locks or anything like that. This is it, strictly just to wash the car. Anything else you wanna put on your windows, on your tires, on your interior, on your leather, on your trim, whatever you're doing, that's all separate. You'll need to do that. This is strictly just to wash your car. Make sure you hit that like and subscribe. Let's wash this car with some minimalistic products. All right, guys, the car is dirty. I'm going to show you a little bit about the car. So you can see we've been driving through the rain. There's a lot of gunk, kick up, dirt all over it. And the car is just layered with that all along the bottom here. All right, the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna foam the car. I'm gonna use probably all this foam as much as possible, I just want to cover it and let it sit with foam. Let the foam get in there, work it, drag its way down the car and pull the dirt off. We will fill this up again for the wash. So you'll need two buckets of this here, two bottles full. This is the first run. Now guys, on this side, I'm starting out with the smallest hole in the foam gun. I just wanted to see the difference in foam and it is very light, very watery. So you, you have about five different holes you can pick from, and I'll show you the bigger hole on the other side and how much more foam comes with it. Just wanna show you the difference. guys the car has been foamed it's been sitting it's time to rinse i'm also going to fill this bucket up again and put some more soap in it so i can start washing the car
All right, the car is foamed and rinsed once. We've got our sponge. We need to soak this sponge up. Get it going. Get it primed a little bit wet there. All right. Click on our foam gun here. And now we're gonna get washing. Okay, we've used one side. We're gonna start using the other side of the sponge now. Guys, as your sponge gets dirty, you're just gonna go ahead and rinse it off, rinse it as best as you can, and then get back to foaming and washing. We got the car washed up. We're gonna hit the wheels now. We just foam them. We get a wheel rag and we wash the wheels as normal. This rag is only meant for tires and wheels. So spray and wash. You can do the faces. You can do as much as you can. If you got barrel brushes and all that, hey, get with it. I'm just trying to show you guys a fast way to do this and get it on. guys did you like the video this is quick short easy way to wash your car so all we had to do was get our foam gun fill it with water and soap we did that twice one was a pre-foam and then one was an actual wash the pre-foam we foamed on the car let it sit rinsed it got any loose dirt and debris so that when we do the contact wash it's less less chances of scratching all right this foam gun is bad to the bone it's perfect just enough soap i started with one half of the car when i started the video i used it on the small uh, small side small hole i wanted to see how much foam it was it's a big difference between the small hole which is on this side or the big hole all right you get a lot more foam using it with the big the big hole on here from there, we went over to our Suds Buds foam sponge here. And all I did was wet this with the hose, foam the car, and I started to wash. As you foam, you wash, foam, you wash. It's a perfect setup, one in each hand. I'm trying to film at the same time, so uh, it's a lot easier if you're not filming. This sponge works really well for this. It is big and it covers a lot of area. I really, really like it. Very cool from the Suds Buds there. Came back at the, to get the wheels, foamed up the wheels, I used a 
dirty wheel towel, went ahead, foamed them, washed them. Easy, right? You could use a, a mitt dedicated to wheels if you want as well. Washed everything off, rinsed it all, and I came back with my Glacier 1100 drying towel. Dried the car, it's super easy with that towel. And I got another dirty dry wheel towel and I dried the wheels. That's it, it's that simple guys. And it really turned out fantastic. It's cold today, I don't wanna be having buckets and filling everything up pretty fast. I think with filming, probably took me about, oh I don't know, 12 to 15 minutes. And uh, you know, the products work great. The only liquid product I bought was Poor Boys World Super Slick. That's all you had to use in this. And uh, you know, you pour that in, into the, the McKees 37 foam gun here and it just works fantastic. Also, you get this with that foam kit. So when you take the foam gun off, you can just spray the car down with this. You don't need to have other nozzles and everything. And it works really well. This is a uh, real nice and quality setup right here from McKees 37. So guys, if you guys want to get any of these products, you can find them on IDScarcare.com. You can get the foam gun, you can get the Poor Boys uh, World concentrated soap there, and you can get the McKees 37 Glacier 1100 towels, all in different sizes. If you wanna find the Suds Buds sponge, you can go on Amazon and I'll leave a link to all of these uh, in the description below. Guys, thanks for watching. I hope you like the video. Minimalistic approach to washing the car. No buckets, no grid guards, just soap, a foam gun, some towels, and a sponge. Talk to you guys later.